Hello, this is Ruth and today I have the vintage telephone die set from Tonic Studios to show you and by popular request I have Nico back today because he hasn't been in a video for a little while and um, well he didn't even want to be here now but if you can see I have to give him some treats so that keeps him happy and keeps him in the camera. So there you are. So anyhow, this is the vintage telephone die set. It's absolutely gorgeous. It makes this really, really beautiful um, telephone and you can either put something in this compartment or something in below it here. And uh, we can nearly even put treats in there, can we, Nico? What do you think? And um, anyhow, there are 47 different dies in this and I'm going to show you how to make it. Um, you can see on the back there, there are some examples some uh, examples of things that you could put inside it as well. So um, we'll have a little look. There's beautiful dies and things here and uh, we'll have a quick look through them and the little, there's a little stamp set as well. So there are the dies and I don't think I need to go through them all in detail because I'll show you those as I go along and as I start to make it. But you can see anyhow uh, the, the main shape here and this is absolutely beautiful. It's just that lovely old vintage style and then we've got the dial here and here and you can also get this separate stamp set so that means that you'll be able to uh, stamp out the numbers for the dials there as well and please wait for the dial tone happy birthday ring ring uh, just for you and just calling to say on those stamps as well you don't necessarily need the stamp set but it is a, a really good plus as well because can obviously just stamp once and then that fits right in behind here um, but if you're not using that you can use the die cut I think we've got die cut somewhere this here and you can stamp in behind it and this is the one I'm, I was thinking of there uh, this has a debossed element and that is really really lovely if you put that on some kind of mirror card or whatever anyhow enough talking about the die set I will start to cut out some of the pieces and I'll be right back. But just before I go to do that, oops, sorry Nico, just before I go to do that, I just want to show you that if you open this up, I know a couple of people have asked me before, where do you find those instructions? Quite often they're actually inside in the centre of your die set. So it will tell you in here all of the different pieces and everything that you need to do to make this telephone up. But I'll cut out all the pieces and be right back. Before I go, I actually should just say that uh, I'd love you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and then whenever I have any more videos coming up, you'll be able to see those as well. And don't forget, if you do enjoy this at the end, give it a big thumbs up. But I really, really, really would love you to comment and talk to me down in below in the comments there and let me know what you're thinking because that helps my channel along as well. So thank you. I'll be right back. You can see here where you need to cut two of these, so that's this flat die that makes the kind of drawer for underneath the telephone. So we've got that one and I've cut it out twice and I'm going to just burnish those in a moment or two and attach those together. This is Ivory Smooth Card uh, 300 GSM and then this is the um, Opera Red Mirror Card. So we've got that and I'll go ahead and glue that in a second or two. but. Then I have taken this die and I've cut that out three times just plain here. So of three exactly as is on here. And then for the fourth one, I've taken the same die, but I have also added in to the centre. I'll just close this over to show you. I've set this one in just to give myself a little guide. It shows you how to do that on the instructions there. So that went in here. And then this circle from here just popped into the centre and because that's there you can get a, a better idea of exactly where that should be. Then you can glue that one into place, or sorry, hold that in place with some um, washi tape or something like that and remove this. And then when you die cut it, it's going to give you that aperture through there. So that's the first few pieces anyhow, um, as it tells you up here. Uh, there's lots of other pieces here, but I'm going to go ahead and construct this part here because I have now got all, all of these pieces ready and I can add all my little 
he says on so first of all you'll just see me burnishing these and then attaching them I've also got my little bone folder here because I want to just give this a little shape just a little bit of dimension uh, or a little bit of a curve actually not a proper curve but a little bit of um, how would you say it just to mold the paper slightly or the card slightly Now I've taken these two dies, so that's this outer one and this decorative one, and I've cut out three panels like that. And then I've taken the outer one again and I've popped in, can you see the three dies there? That's this one, this one and this one. And I've used those together with the circle in the centre and then that has given me this piece here. And I'm going to go ahead and glue all of those on around here. Now it's easy enough to do that. But just because this is my first one and I wanted to be sure exactly where I was putting them and what it was going to look like when it was assembled, um, I've left that until this stage. But you could really cut those out at the start if you knew what you wanted to do and add them on whenever this is flat. And do you remember at the start where all the pieces were lying out facing outwards? That would have been a really good stage to put these on. But for now I'm going to go ahead and glue them all on here. Now moving on to the handset, you'll need to take this die and cut that out twice and uh, just obviously then crease those fold lines there and then you'll glue one tab and join this together. So just put glue down there and the flat edge then will go on top of that and that's the middle section of the handset. Just make sure you have that perfectly lined up top and bottom. I hadn't there, so there we are. That's it now. And set that aside for a moment or two. Now we've got this strange looking piece and you need to cut that out twice. So that's what it'll look like when it's cut out. A little bit like a dragonfly or something. 
but I then marked on here the pieces that you'll need to glue together first of all so you can see there symmetrically it's these two pieces then here and here and these little tabs so what you want to do is glue this we can do one side first and then we can repeat it on here but put glue on there that little tab and hold that in there now just take your time this is important to get this all straight and hold it until it all just keeps its place and until the glue grabs so you want to hold it there then you're going to put glue on this part that curved part then and that will go in under there and you can see it beginning to take shape already but don't rush this you want to get it nice and smooth and just hold on for a moment or two uh, don't be tempted to use high tack tape or anything for this wet glue is the way forward with this one definitely and it will look really really good now we just need to put some glue on there there and there and fold that along that curve and just hold that in place like so and whenever that holds then you'll be able to do exactly the same on the other side it's just giving you two the two sides of the same thing so here here and along those tabs and then whenever I've done that I'll go ahead and do exactly the same thing on there So this is the centre section as I said so we'll go ahead and add some glue down there and hold that together. Again I always find these little pegs are so handy so I'll just put that on there and then another one on here and that will hold that for a minute or two until the glue dries on that. Now these are the sections then that fit inside here so what you're going to do whenever that dries is put glue on all of these little tabs and attach them on the inside edge there. So I've just That's very fast dra grabbing glue so I can go ahead and do that now and I'll just put glue on all of those little tabs and we'll just keep this part, part down below and add that on there. them all inside. And there we are. You can see it's really beginning to take shape. And just do the same with the other side. There's a little piece I need to just pop over because I think that I haven't let that dry properly. So I'll pop that on there. Hold it while I'm doing this part. And there we are. And again, just make sure you've got the top and bottom in the same place as you had on the other side. To make the next little piece of the handset then, you can take this die and tape the small hexagon into the centre of it and cut that out six times. And you're going to need three of those for one side of the handset and three for the other. And then I've also gone ahead and taken the larger hexagon and this little piece here and taped those together. And I've cut that out twice. Now I've already gone ahead just to see what this looks like and added this on here. So these were the two pieces that you saw me glue on just in the last part of the video. And then this is the piece that I'm going to do now. 
So we've got this cut out six times as I said but three times for each side and I'm just going to go ahead and reinforce all those little score lines. That's very important to have all those ready. Uh, on both of them obviously, or sorry all three actually. Um, so there we are. Now turn them up this way and then you'll want to add some glue along the outside edge here and make sure these are really really well centered because obviously you need to know that everything's lined up perfectly on here and also that all of these will go together once this glue grab, uh, grabs in the center so get that one on first and then add the next one put that on there and just turn it over and make sure that all this part is aligned and it looks really good from the top as well as on the inside there. Take your time for a minute or two and just make sure all of that has grabbed before you go ahead with the next bit. But what happens next is you're going to glue all of these little tabs. So that one, that side goes on here. Don't worry about these ones at the moment. These are for at, uh, get used at the end. But you will need to put glue on all of these tabs the whole way around and just take your time. This take a moment or two because I want to be sure that it's all grabbed before I move on so um, you can just watch along as I do that but I'll be holding it for I'll speed the cam the, up a little bit for you so there we go. Now to make the little uh, rest part or whatever it's called to put the handset on. Handset rest probably. So I have taken this die and I've cut that out in the ivory. And then I've used the two together and I've got myself this little piece. And I've done that twice so you can see I've already gone ahead and glued that on. So I've cut this one and I've glued one on there and then I have cut this little die out twice as well. And I'm going to glue one of these to each side. So there's one on here and the other one will go on here. This one then will get glued in there and then I'll fold the tabs up and this part will then get glued on here when these are attached and then that will be our little rest for the handset. it all assembled now and I've glued this on and then the little handset just fits nicely on there. So you've got this little compartment here that you can put something in and you've also got the little drawer in below that just opens out from here. It's a bit tight but I think I maybe made that just slightly too thick but anyhow it does come out and in and I'll work on that in a moment or two but I just added a little circle into the centre because I, there are some sentiments and some things there call me with love and ring ring um, but I, I will probably give this to someone as a gift or with a gift inside it and uh, I just didn't know which sentiment I will want to use at the time so I've just left that clear at the moment and I can always add something in afterwards. Now on reflection I think I probably would have had this part uh, red or whatever but I could still add some of that on. I could even add strips of red on top of that just to, to match all of this in but it to be honest when I looked at the die set it was a little bit daunting and I thought goodness how am I going to make all that up there's so many pieces and whatever but actually it was an awful lot simpler than I thought and I really enjoyed it and I really loved the way it came together so I hope you've enjoyed it too and if you've already got the die set and haven't used it I hope this inspires you just to crack it open out of that packet and get using it and if not, if you haven't already got it, maybe you'd like to have a little go at it too. So 
Either way, I hope you've enjoyed and thanks very much for watching. I'll add my links to everything, all my affiliate links to everything I've used in the video down below there. And um, thanks again to everybody who uses those because I really appreciate that. I get a little commission from it, but it won't cost you anything extra. So thanks again until the next time. Bye.